Welcome back to City Hall Live. Um, my name is Cynthia Delgado, and my next guest, um, which I think is really exciting, is Peggy Trujillo. Peggy is with the City of Santa Fe Park and Recs Division. And the reason I think it's exciting is because each one of us, every day, get to enjoy the many parks and recreational opportunities that the City of Santa Fe provides. So welcome, Peggy, Thank to you. City Hall Live. Thank you. Great. It's good to have you here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Parks and Recreation Division in terms of their major responsibilities and yourself as the, I think your title was Marketing and Special Events Administrator. Yes. Big title. There's two of us now. Okay. Carlos Sanchez is <laughs> the other one. He's standing by. Great. Um, uh, the Park and Recs Division has uh, a, now a, a marketing uh, and special events, and what we do is pretty much everything that goes around uh, that has to do with special events through the city, we are involved with it. Okay. Same thing with Zozobra. All the parks guys help out with cutting of the trees and putting the trash bins and all that stuff. So we, we are pretty much 100% uh, involved with all of the special events that the city or private entities hold. Holds in parks. In parks. Or in a recreation facility. facility yes. And parks are all those wonderful parks like Fort Marcy, the Plaza, um, Chavez Center, Chavez Center yeah. um, Alto Park. Mm -hmm. Do they still call it Alto? Alto Park. Park. They uh -huh. do? Okay. Or the Trade Park. <laughs> or the Trade Park. <laughs> um, and then Bicentennial, Genoveva, um, Community Center, all of those. Yes. Okay. Good, good. And, you know, interestingly enough, there are lots of events and um, things that happen. Yes. So we have a new park coming online. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that new park coming online. It's called the Swan Park and um, it will be opened, our is, grand opening. Is Swan because they have swans there? Or no, does that actually, stand I, I, I've got to read it because okay. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> it is the Southwest Area Activity Node. Oh, okay. That's so that's just an acronym for it. Yes. Great, great. And so, so go ahead. And at the, at the event on Saturday, we're going to try to rename it. So we're going to have a drawing for uh, renaming the park. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about the park. How many acres is it? What does it have? It has a uh, baseball field. Great. It has an uh, activity uh, field right in the middle. It has a play area structure. It has um, uh, basketball courts and uh, it will, it connects, it connects the uh, trail, the walking trail from who knows where? <laughs> I mean, it goes forever. Okay. But that's one of the three stages that we're going to have. Okay, great. So this is really the beginning of this part. Yes. It is not the end of its development. No. No. So where exactly is it for our viewers? Can you give them a, a good ex uh, description of how to get there? Well, the address is uh, 5000 Plaza Central. Okay. That's the, that's the actual physical address. Okay. But if you go down Airport Road um, and hit the left-hand side to Paseo del Sol, okay. and then right on Jaguar, you're going to go all the way down Jaguar, and you'll see, if you go around the curve, the park. Okay, great. So it is off of Jaguar. Yes. So you can get to Jaguar off of Sirius Road, mm -hmm. or you can get to Jaguar off of Airport Road. Yes, on um, Paseo de Sol. On Paseo de Sol. Yeah. And it really is designed for that. Uh, it's All our parks are for everyone. Yes. But it really fills a need for those neighborhoods in that area yes. to have outdoor activities. Yes. Okay. And so there's going to be a big sort of ribbon cutting yeah. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So tell yeah. us a little bit about Well, at 11 o'clock um, a.m. <laughs> <laughs>